here we are with the main gold episode six and yeah last episode was definitely my least favorite episode because the fight with with chris and rex was too dragged out i mean it wasn't really a fight and quality wise it was like the lowest the season has been so far and then the whole ambush on the May from the professor last episode i think was too cliche and it, i just didn't like it and i gave my prediction how i think it will be resolved in the, at the end of last episode so i guess we will see how it will resolve but yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode and she has big ears. <laughs> yeah, we know that. Everyone realizes that shit is about to go down. Yeah, and... Don't know what that is. Who is that? Is this maybe the familiar of the professor? That would be crazy if that's just familiar. Very interesting if that's the case. Yeah, and what is he doing? Maybe this is to steal her or something? Yep. Like I thought. Pretty easy for him to steal her or whatever. If she's supposed to be that strong and he can easily do that. It's just too easy, too cliche, right? It's it's so it's so crazy how very easy this for him right and this is what i don't really like about it because he ambushed her very easily the main knew he was bad and what he did she still didn't pay attention got ambushed easily now he can just easily like chain her and i guess like subdue her well i mean we don't know what happens next so it's just too cliche and too easy uh, and the yeah, alto is now here and he's like what happened and maybe the professor uses the maid to attack him. No, it's not. <laughs> How about you don't ask questions and do something? It was indeed an easy task. What the shit are you talking about? Dude, do something. Don't just stand there. Jesus Christ. Behind everything? What does he mean with everything? Does he mean... Is he referring to Rex only right now? Or the other cases? What is happening? Is he going Ultra Instinct? Is it her or is it Alto? I guess it's her, maybe. Not Alto. Or maybe somewhat connected to Alto? Kill him. No, don't stop her! You idiot! Of course. Of course he protects him. Dude, you fucking dumbass. Why? Is this clearing her mind? Like, oh no, I killed Alto. How, how could I? If this is clearing her mind, then I was a bit off. I said that he gets attacked and then with his last, like, strength, he musters, he can come through to her and clear her mind or something so it's not necessarily like stabbing him to death and that's clears her mind so i was a bit off but if he says something now with his last with his last strength while being pierced and being getting like un unconscious then i would say it still counts <laughs> because he got attacked Okay, he doesn't say anything. Oh! Okay, I was a bit off. But we know he will be fine. Somehow, some way. Is she going more insane now? Yep, I guess she is. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. 
Or is Alto getting his last strength to go to stop her again? Of course, he gets his last strength. And this will clear her mind, maybe? That she turns back? Then I'm still right. <laughs> yep. So I would say I was pretty right. He musters his last strength to get to get her back. Can she heal him? In her boobs. And the blood tears. The only thing that is now missing is that he collapses. Yep. <laughs> of course. Too cliche. But we know he isn't dying. I can heal him. I'm fusing him with ma with mana. So if she can do that, why is she even shocked? I mean, she should know. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. I can heal him. No problem. Is she losing something because of it? Maybe some of her power or something? Or maybe she just gets weakened again and has to suck more mana out of him to regain her power again? Come on, shut the fuck up, dude. Can someone beat him finally, please? More of that. There are ice inside? So is it more potent on him because he is a sick bastard? So use something different. She seems not impressed. Can she beat him like really easily? That would be fun. Yep. Your research ain't shit. I guess that won't help. Oh, there's Chris. No, kill him. I mean, even if nothing really happened to her, right? She just rampaged a bit and nothing bad really happened that he took control over her for too long and did some dumb shit with her. I'm still not happy about it. That everything turned out well. I mean, it was pretty much obvious. It still didn't, didn't change anything for me. I'm still not happy with the end of last episode and with the progression of this episode right now. I feel like it was so unnecessary. Like, for real, so unnecessary. Because there's basically nothing, right? He got stabbed, he ends her rampage, she just heals him immediately. Then she beats his ass of the professor and that's a, like, wow, why? <laughs> What's the point? I guess maybe to deepen the relationship between Alto and Vame. So that it's like, now the bond is even deeper, right? But, yeah, she feels bad. Oh, I stabbed him. Um. I feel like it was just unnecessary. So it was maybe his familiar. Maybe it was his familiar. Now that he is dead, it disappears. And maybe becomes the familiar of someone else. Maybe it was the reason why he was so obsessed with the demons. So maybe if it becomes the familiar of someone else, it does bad shit with the, the next person. Naked still. <laughs> Yeah, 
Or maybe she connected their lives together, giving a piece of her to him. So it bound them more together. They can't live apart from each other anymore, really. If one dies, the other one dies too, I guess, maybe. I guess Alt was fine with it. She gave his heart to him, maybe? Or maybe part of the heart. And if it's reversed? If he dies? Again? Hey, Xenoblade 2! <laughs> That's what he feels bad about. But she doesn't want to live apart from him any any anymore anyway, so... If he dies, she wants to die anyway, I guess, at this point. I mean, I wouldn't... I mean... Oh no, he didn't die. Yeah, right. So it just disappeared. Whoever it was. So it maybe was not the familiar. Yeah, he is back to normal and he is sorry. Probably. More or less, I guess. Sorry for what I did. I wasn't myself. <laughs> Mana. And she's still somewhat naked. I love it. So now he has to kiss her to, be, to keep stay alive? She has pants on. Because she feels bad. It wasn't a problem for her before. <laughs> I found it quite hot. <laughs> so, I'll return the mana you give me into the demon mana to feed you. So, he has to give his mana to her, then she can give the mana back to him because he gives her the good mana, his mana, and then she can turn it turn his mana into demon mana and gives it to him back. So it's like circle. Right? Cycle. It may take decades before the heart to prosper take hold. So it's not quite finished yet. But once it's complete, basically, which can take decades, then he doesn't rely on her anymore except that if she dies that he dies then he dies too right but at a certain point he doesn't need the demon man anymore it what it sounds like <laughs> he is mad <laughs> and now he realizes, realizes what he did. And is embarrassed. I am still not happy. But yeah, first of all, let me know what you think about this episode. I personally, like I said, I'm not happy. I think it was completely unnecessary, this whole thing. And um, I mean, I get it, right? It's If you know Xenoblade Chronicles, it's, it's similar, right? Xenoblade, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, it's similar, right? Their lives are basically intertwined now. They can't live each, apart from each other anymore. I mean, in the sense that if one dies, the other dies too. I mean, Vime said that she gives him demonic mana, and it takes a few decades, but then he is not reliant on it anymore, I guess, and then she wants to get sealed back in a book, and then he can live alone again. But I mean, we know Alto doesn't want that anymore, and I mean, I get it, right? Now they are, like, more bonded together, they are, right? Um, I, but like I said, I still I think it was completely unnecessary, um, and my prediction that I had last episode was kind of true right it's not exactly like i thought it would be but similar i mean the professor never really had control over mame and when she tried to kill him alto goes in between gets stabbed is basically dying right now and then she is like really frustrated and like despaired basically and once gets even more demonic 
and wants to kill him again. And then, then basically happened what I predicted, which is Alto gets his like all the rest of the strength he has together and goes towards the May and that finally clears her mind and then she is back to normal while he is basically dying and so it's basically what I predicted right it's I mean it's this cliche thing right it's just cliche I think it was needed for this anime I think they could have gotten to this point a different way than this um so i'm still not quite happy about it but i mean the end was basically back to what we had before right they bond somewhat it's more slightly bit happy i mean it wasn't completely happy at the end because the may was still like very down and felt bad for what she did because now alto saw how she really looks like i guess how her true form is and she's like yeah she's vile and ugly and she shouldn't live with him because he's a good guy she's a bad demon basically and she feels bad about it and so she is cold to or was cold towards him and kept her distance and just fed him with or like took mana from him to turn it into demon mana to give it to him that he can live basically because he is reliant on her now um but I'm, i i feel like they made up at the end now they cleared the difference right because it was basically like when when Veme kissed Alto, he was like, "Yeah, you only should kiss someone that you love." She kissed him without absorbing mana, and it's like, "Yep, we know that." And now Alto did it to her, so it's interesting that Alto can now suck mana out of her, basically like the same way she did it with him. And she did, he did it without absorbing mana, and she's like, "Oh my god, he kissed me without absorbing mana," and it's like, "Oh, realize, oh, you only should kiss someone you love," and realizes that Alto maybe. Probably, most likely, from what it seems like, from what we know, really loves her. He doesn't care about her true form or what she did. He's grateful to her. He likes her. And realizes, oh my god, he really likes me and all that stuff. And so I guess they made up, cleared the differences. And maybe next episode we can go back to what we had before, like bonding time, happiness and all that stuff. There might maybe be still some differences that is not completely cleared right now. Um, but we will see. But yeah, like I said, I'm I'm still like... I get it, like, it's more bonding, they are, like, intertwined now, and all that stuff, but I feel like it wasn't really needed, I mean, the funny part is also that the maze now, like, yeah, you saw how I really look like, and I'm a demon, and all that stuff, I'm bad, she knew all that stuff before, right, just Alto didn't knew it, what she can really be, basically, and now she's like, yeah, I shouldn't live with you, she didn't care about it before, now that Alto knows, and that basically she is intertwined with him and that he's reliant on her now. That pushed her over the edge that she's like, yeah, I'm bad, basically. Because it all happened because of me. I mean, I don't mind it. Um, I, I If I would be in Alto shoes, I wouldn't mind it either. I mean, <laughs> that seems like a lucky situation, right? Being intertwined with a sexy demon. Don't mind me coming through. Um, but yeah. Like I said, I'm still, the end was more what I want again, but everything before that and last episode, the end, I didn't like it. I'm still not happy about it, but we will see how it goes, if everything is back to normal in the next episode or if there's still some differences. And I mean, Chris saw the May now, how she really looks, like her demon shit. Um, so she might have told the, the council and at least the council felt the demonic power, so maybe they can connect that now to the May, maybe. Maybe they feel like that stuff on the May, even if she's, like, looking like a human now. So maybe they know because of the power of her, or maybe she they know because of Chris told her, or told them, and we will see how that turns out. But, yeah, we will see how it turns out in episode 7. So, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think, and thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.